my name's Julian Soriano. I'm an embedded aged care pharmacist working for Tananda Lutheran Home in the Barossa Valley, South Australia. Um, I've been an embedded aged care pharmacist for three years and worked in the aged care space as a pharmacist for five years. Um, I'm talking today about a project called ADEPT, which is looking at um, digital tools for pharmacists in aged care homes. Um, but we're seeing more and more uh, pharmacists on site and this opens up a huge opportunity for us to be able to detect more and more medicine related problems. Um, we try to um, optimise uh, the medication regime and this will be to help improve the effect of medications but also uh, mainly to reduce any harms or potential harms. The ADEPT project is a digitally enabled pharmacy service um, looking to detect medicines harm in older people um, and sort of breaking that down there's a few key points there. So. Um, firstly, it's a pharmacy service um, and we're using the embedded aged care pharmacy model where a pharmacist will be on site a certain number of days a week um, working for an aged care home um, and becoming part of that system. Um, the digital component of this project is looking at getting objective data that the pharmacist can use to um, conduct medication reviews and uh, look for improvements in medication use amongst older people and these tools will be things like uh, different sensors um, as well as um, using current data sources such as electronic medication records and charts to uh, provide better and more objective data for the pharmacist. And the last component being uh, detecting medicines harm before they happen. Um, so often time we will look at medicines harm once it's happened, so using uh, a resident's fall for example, we will review the resident after their fall. Hopefully with increased data, increased pharmacy service and collaboration, um, we're going to be able to detect these issues before they happen and hopefully prevent the, the terrible outcomes that can happen from uh, medicines harm. Unfortunately, older patients are more prone to uh, unwanted side effects from medications and there's a whole host of reasons um, relating to physiology and, and concurrent medical conditions that can cause this. Um, older people are more likely to be on more medications because they might have more, more co comorbidities as they age. Um, Medicines are really useful tools. Um, they can provide lots of benefit and they can help improve quality of life for many people. Um, but unfortunately, if they're not used appropriately um, or if they're not used optimally, they can also um, lead to harms. Uh, and these harms can be very varied. Um, some of the things that we're really cautious about in older people are medications that can cause things like sedation, confusion, dizziness. Um, and these types of side effects or harms can lead to things like falls, which can cause uh, lead to fractures and um, a significantly reduced quality of life. Um, being able to detect these harms um, early um, and while they're still mild um, is really important to help preventing uh, any significant um, consequences to our residents uh, as well as um, improving their quality of life and their medicines use. Teleclinical Care or TCC as I'm going to refer to it um, is a platform that's used currently by the New South Wales Health um, to monitor COVID patients and cardiac patients at home. Um, and what we're going to be using it for is it's going to be a back-end dashboard uh, that the clinicians or the pharmacist on site, um, myself, will be able to use to see uh, information about residents and um, have longitudinal data relating to their medicines use um, and uh, various vital information. Um, so the type of information we're going to be looking at are things like blood pressures, activity, sleep data, um, bowel charts and uh, uh, weight, weights for example. Um, TCC is going to be used to draw together the disparate um, medicine information systems we have at Tananda Lutheran Home. So this can be our electronic medication record um, as well as our medical records, um, as well as combining data with uh, new sensors that we're implementing. So things like a sleep tracker and an activity tracker. Um, the idea behind this is it's going to be uh, a one-stop shop for the pharmacist to be able to use as a medication review and also a tool that's going to be able to monitor residents over a long period of time and triage um, important information such as changes to sleep activity or um, blood pressures uh, that the pharmacist can use um, for their reviews. Um, the team involved in delivering this um, is, is really varied um, and it's really interdisciplinary which is really important so we get lots of different perspectives. We're working together with the University of South Australia, University of New South Wales and Flinders University to deliver this project. There are two phases to this project. Um, phase one is the planning and implementation phase. So in phase one we're um, planning out what the TCC dashboard is going to look like, what type of information we think is relevant and we want to see. Um, and then working with the various stakeholders and uh, third parties who currently have some of this information, so our medication chart, 
vendors and um, Medica uh, medical record vendors to get data um, into TCC and in an automated fashion, um, which requires minimal effort and input from uh, staff at Tananda Lutheran Home and the pharmacists themselves, uh, making it a more streamlined, usable, automated process. Um, we're also working on our research protocols and um, looking at how, how these will be uh, implemented. Um, phase two is going to be uh, recruiting and then implementing the service. Um, so we're recruiting around 30 residents from Tananda Lutheran Home uh, to be part of this study. Um, and once, once we've got these residents uh, ready, um, it's going to be a 12-week project where we spend the first two weeks gathering baseline information using the sensors in the new platform. Um, and then from week, week two onwards, we're going to, have, uh, we're going to implement the, the full service with the pharmacist um, and the interdisciplinary team working together um, and assessing changes to, from, from the residents' baseline. The project's being delivered by a grant from the Aged Care Industry Research and Innovations Australia, also known as ARIA. They focus on research that's related to improving um, gaps in workforce and, deliver and service delivery in aged care. Um, so this project really fits, fits their theme of improving the service delivery um, and gaps in care, particularly relating to medication use. We've got three main questions we want to answer. One is, can we deliver a digitally enabled service um, to improve medications use um, in aged care homes? The other is, how will these services and recommendations be accepted by other healthcare professionals? And how will the interventions, such as using sensors, be accepted by residents of the aged care home? And the final question is, what is the cost and what would the service look like? Um, and cost not just being money, but also cost to time for nurses and and staff at the um, residential aged care home. But speaking as a pharmacist who's worked in aged care for quite some time, um, I think this type of service will be really, really important to improving and already improving a, serve, a model of delivering pharmacy and medicines management in aged care. Um, I've always had issues finding really good objective data in, in aged care homes, um, and there's a multitude of reasons for that. Um, different data systems are used. Some places are still using uh, paper-based um, medication records. Um, which can be yeah, difficult to sift through and can, yeah, the pharmacists can spend a lot of time trying to just get the right information to make sure that we can recommend the, the most optimal treatment for um, the residents we look after. A platform like this is going to make that job much more streamlined and um, the use of uh, sensors such as a sleep tracker and activity tracker is also going to help provide the pharmacist with more information to be able to make uh, more informed decisions, uh, more informed recommendations for residents, their families and, and their treating GPs. Um, the really useful part of this and being quite cognizant of the, the challenges that aged care is facing at the moment with workforce shortages is hopefully this platform won't increase the burden on residents and the staff there um, in terms of gathering this information. Hopefully this will be quite streamlined and automatic um, and there won't be a real big service change for, for the already overworked nurses um, and residents um, living in aged care will just be able to live and not have to, to worry constantly about being poked and prodded.